Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are talking about Google because Google will soon shoot you in the face with air. Now this opens up a ton of data mining and privacy issues. Here's what's going on. This is coming from the US edition of The Sun. Now, Google is basically just released a video of a new in-home technology that could change the way and frequency that people engage with their devices. Now, this is a micro project, and it's one of many from Google's divisions known as Experiments with Google. Now, Experiments with Google is a division within the company where employees or independents can basically flesh out ideas in a way that is cost efficient, but non-committal. In the latest experiment known as Little Signals, it's basically a step into what Google has dubbed ambient computing. Now this is interacting with Google products in a way that is subtle, seamless, and not distracting to the user or people around the user, meaning you're focused on something, but you still need that notification and nothing is jarring at you. It is subtle, it is ambient. Now, and I quote, the concept video. Little Signals is a family of unassuming but charming objects that share notifications and information by engaging with our senses in more nuanced ways. Now, these home objects resemble things like vases, clocks, you know, other things you have around your house. They're designed to blend in with your home. Now, this theoretical concept comes with six different objects each with its own uh, notification message. So for method, I should say. So for example, <clears throat> a rush of air, a gentle tap or a swift basically movement in shadows are all possibilities for the little signals lines and they all work to draw just a little bit of your attention without removing your focus or basically shifting you know whatever you're doing and i quote again the the project description here the six objects in this design study make use of different sensorial cues to suddenly signal for attention. They keep us in the loop, but softly moving from the background to the foreground as needed. Now, 9to5 Google, the publication, also reported that little signals, basically the project is currently not on track to mass manufacturing, but but ambient computing is at the forefront of Google's long-term ideology per what Google has said, meaning this could be the first cues of where Google is going in the future. And in some ways, I, it totally makes sense. You know, if I'm working on something and let's say an emergency comes in, I'd rather be slightly distracted by, let's say, a puff of air or something like that blowing in my face or shooting in my face, I guess, uh, you know, than, uh, than just like want, 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 you know, in front of me. So maybe there's something to be said about this, but I think this also actually really starts indicating that Google can data mine you even more. As we've talked about in the past multiple times, we are data mined in just unknown ways. Everything from what you post, what you click, what you linger on, on things like social media to GPS locations, you know, thanks to Google Maps, all those other things that they get, not to mention how you interact with phones, how you move, all these kinds of things. And now if they've got these ambient things, and let's say they've also got facial recognition or, or uh, let's say intelligent cameras on top of that, maybe they start to recognize that, you know, the way I basically can shift my focus easily is through, let's say, a puff of air as opposed to a slight shadow move or, you know, whatever it is. And therefore, they are gathering more data and telemetry on me. The other side of this is that as we start integrating these things into our homes, we are literally integrating the products of one of the largest data miners in the world. Therefore, privacy is a huge, huge thing. The amount of intelligence and information that Google would collect from these as we strategically put these around our house might tell them essentially the frequency with which we stay in a specific area, especially for labeling, you know, object A in the dining room, object B in the kitchen. So they start to understand, well, you spend more time in the kitchen. So maybe you need more advertisements for kitchen things, whether it's remodels, pots and pans, whatever those things are. All of these little things are designed possibly to make your life easier, but they're also designed to data mine you, which directly affects your privacy. These are things that we really have to take into consideration as we are looking at these things. If they're interesting, don't get me wrong, I find these things very fascinating. It's cool technology, but it's coming from, again, one of the largest data miners and privacy violators in the world. These are the ones that honor geofence warrants. Go look up that video slash podcast I did. So this is a huge issue. I think it's interesting, but then, like I said, sooner than later, it seems like Google's long-term strategy is to shoot you in the face with air.
And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, where you will be data mined. And follow me on Google's YouTube as well, where you're obviously data mined. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everyone.